there are three functions in DAX to compute the minimum value. They are min, min a, and min x. There is a slight difference between min and min a in the way they handle Boolean values, whereas min is nothing but the short version of min x. Min can be used whenever you are aggregating one column only and that column already belongs to the model. Let's see that with some code. Min net price 1 uses min over sales net price. It's only one column, that column belongs to the model, so I can use min and the result is the minimum price. You can obtain the very same result using min x. Min x iterates over sales and computes the minimum net price. In this case, min and min x produce the very same result. You use min x whenever you want to retrieve the minimum value of an expression. Like in the third calculation, where I compute the min x over sales of quantity times net price. Because I'm not using one column only, but I have a more complex expression, I need to use min x. Now, in this case, the numbers are identical because in this specific database, all the quantities are one. But generally speaking, min x is useful to aggregate expressions. As I said, there are differences between min and min a and min x in the way they handle Boolean value. Neither min nor min x can work on Boolean value. You need min a to aggregate Boolean expressions. I have created a column no cars in the customer table that indicates whether the customer has a, has a car or not. And if you want to aggregate it using min, you cannot use neither min nor min x, you need to use min a. Keep in mind, false is translated to zero and one is translated and true is translated to one. So the min a of customer no cars returns zero if there is at least one customer that has false in that column. If you want to use min x instead of min a, then you need to convert the Boolean value into an integer. And you can do that by multiplying the Boolean value by 1. 1 by 1 is still 1, and 1 by 0 is 0. So you do not lose information during the conversion, but you move the data type from a Boolean value to an integer that can be aggregated using min x. When you use min, you can specify one argument, and in that case, the argument needs to be the, a column in the model. But min can also be used with two arguments, and if that is the case, the meaning of the argument is very different. Min with one argument requires one column in the model. Min with two arguments requires two expressions, which are evaluated in the current context, produce two numbers, and min returns the smallest of the two one. So if you look at this code, I create first of all sales amount that just computes sales amount, and then a second measure, 5 millions or sales amount that returns the minimum between 5 million and sales amount. So the second measure retrieves the sales amount if it is smaller than 5 million or 5 millions to top it. The result is visible here. When you have a number which is smaller than 5 million, 5 million sales amount returns the same number, but if the number becomes larger, then you only obtain 5 million and no more than that. Another scenario where you need to use min x and you cannot use min, even though you are aggregating one column only, is when the column belongs to a variable. So it is not a column in the model, it's a column that you computed on the fly. Let's see the example. Here I am creating a variable monthly sales that computes the new column monthly sales, which is added to the calendar year month. So I build a table that contains the calendar year month and the monthly sales. The monthly sales column does not belong to the model. It's created on the fly in my measure. I then filter out from this monthly sales table on all the rows that have monthly sales less than 10,000. And then I want to retrieve the minimum of the values left. I cannot use min in such a case because the column, even though it is only one column, does not belong to the model. It's a temporary column created on the fly. That is why I need to use min x to iterate over the filter sales table and retrieve the only column that I'm interested in retrieving. 
minx is needed whenever you whenever you need to retrieve the minimum of a column that does not belong to a model but it is stored previously in a variable